Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Nick here again for another Ren reaction. It's been a minute, and I am aware of that, so I have not had a lot of time on my hands, but I've heard a lot of people talking about a song that Ren dropped the other day called Money Game Part 3, and uh, I don't want to tick anyone off, uh, so you can stop here, but I haven't watched the first two parts yet. Uh, but I wanted to get this out here. I'm going to go revisit the first two. Um, but I just wanted to see what was on display, and I thought I'd upload it for all of y'all. Um, I have done a lot of Ren here on the channel, as a reminder, so go check those out here. I think he's one of the most transformational artists that we have in the sphere of rap and hip-hop and um, overall theatrics at the moment, uh, theater. Like, he's just, he's in a league of his own. Um, and his beliefs about mental health and the importance of uh, being your own advocate um, and being an independent artist, just all of those things. I have a lot of le levels of respect for him. All right, let's get into it. Go support Ren. Go rewatch or watch Money Game Part 3 on his channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, before you go, please hit subscribe, like this video, leave me a comment, let me know what I missed. I'm sure there will be a lot of it. And let's dive right in. Thanks again for all the support. The cinematography in this is nuts already. Um, a Samuel and Ren video. I'm assuming Samuel is who shot this. Um, I know that Ren has been usually involved in everything that is produced, uh, and it's usually visually stunning. this sometimes man where he's just like literally almost just humming and it sounds out of this world One years old and his first words were mine, mine, gimme. Two years old he was walking, three years old walking quickly. Four years old he was running round the pavements of his city. Five years old and his daddy told him, listen here son, you gotta learn to be a man. 
A man he works for what he wants Six years old and he's reading writing Top of the bunch And when he's seven His progression made him student number one Eight years old and he's praised for unusual grades Nine, his parents paid for private school to nurture the flame Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen He ascends and ascends His daddy tells him son Money is the means to all ends Fourteen, solving complex mathematical equations At fifteen, IQ 150 Still L Elevator. 16, he develops complex software code that detects weaknesses in cybersecurity protocols. 17, and he sells his vision, keeping the share. Not yet an adult, but he's practically a millionaire. 18, and his daddy tells him, now you're a man. This world don't give a damn about you, so take all that you can. 19, he turns a profit, stocks and shares, invest in product. 20, double down deposits. 21, his income rockets. 22, he learns the truth is just an Obstacle to wealth. If you manipulate the data, then truth is the obstacle to wealth. Oh god damn, this shit's fire. So dis disinformation is the is the the way to wealth, right? Um, anything to get attention is the way to wealth. Actual truth, it's not gonna harbor anything for you. He has a way his poetry is so fire. It's so fire. Well, don't give a damn about you, so take all that you can. 19, he turns a profit, stocks and shares, invest in product. 20, double down deposits. 21, his income rockets. 22, he learns the truth is just an obstacle to wealth. If you manipulate the data, then the lie will sell itself. 23, a life of luxury, crystal and cocaine. 24, he makes the Forbes list, they're applauding his name. 25, and his daddy tells him, listen here, son. While you're sitting in that palace, that don't mean that you won. 20 26, a business shift, he switches business to arms He's 27, dealing nuclear and shells in Iran 28, inside the Senate, money bought him a seat He's 29, a role of counsel in the president's Okay, I'm sorry, I mean there's so much going on here But essentially, you know, uh, from cybersecurity all the way to uh, selling arms to Iran Becoming a lobbyist and then essentially getting privy to the president of the United States Um don't know why it's the president of the United States. Could have been the, the prime minister, whoever, whatever country in the UK, for sure. Um, he did say president, though, so. A life of luxury, crystal and cocaine. 24, he makes the Forbes list, they're applauding his name. 25, and his daddy tells him, Listen here, son, while you're sitting in that palace, that don't mean that you won. 26, a business shift, he switches business to arms. He's 27, dealing nuclear and shells in Iran. 28, inside the Senate, money bought him a seat. He's 29, a role of counsel in the president's suite. Now he's 30, his daddy says, You're losing the race, you're just a servant to the King, not even in second place 31 a big maneuver for his daddy's approval moving imports over borders from the exports out of cuba 32 moving grams growing kilos to tons he's 33 filling warehouses with powder and guns 34 turf war with nobody to stop it blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket blind eye so essentially taking the eye of the popo, the police, and putting it inside of his pocket. So he's got the cops inside of his pocket looking the other way. What an interesting way of putting that though. Taking the eyes from authority and putting them in your pocket. This is wild, man. This is wild. Of his pocket. <laughs> Fucking love this guy. 35. He gets the call. I'm sorry, son, but it's your father. Had a heart attack. I'm sorry, he's gone. 36. Getting pissed off, abusing his product. 37. Eyes glazed, disposition demonic. 38. With a prostitute, a moment of passion. Heating off a silver spoon and then chasing the dragon. 39. Getting reckless and hungry for power. Daddy's words are still driving him to kill and devour. Makes a move against the cartel, but the strategy's flawed. They retaliate and leave him in a hospital ward. A bullet buried in his vertebra and one in his leg. The doctor size and says I don't think you'll be walking again fuck is this done in one take
Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy. He was 40 and he cursed the words, my, my, gimme. 41, he wasn't walking. 42, not walking quickly. 43, never running round the pavements of his city. 44, inside a palace with a mountain of gold. But those riches turn to rubble when perspective evolves. Weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold. Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls. Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free. Put your hand inside the cookie jar, take more than you need. And his example is exaggerated versions of me. And it's a version of him. And it's a version of she, and it's a version of you There's no escaping the blame, the way we live is parasitic Fuck the money and fame, cut the music This isn't entertainment, this is real life The way we live is lunacy, community, it declines Hyperpolarized, always fighting, then we divide Truth is less important than the money that we designed. Money's an invention. Politics from our invention. They all come from people's ideas. Did I mention? Borders an invention. Law and order fuel the tension. It leads to people killing each other. My solution? My God, man. Everything is subject to change. We could build utopias if individuals were taught to use their brains. But if we teach kids in school... We could build utopias if kids were taught to use their brains. If individuals were taught to use their brains. But if we teach kids in schools to always be sheep and put themselves before the herd if there's more money for me. There's no future I see where the humans survive With parasites inside a petri dish with cannibal minds Mold will grow upon the surface and consumes till it dies And our fate could be the same without this story to the wise Forty-five Jimmy comes home out of the rain Soaking wet upon a wheelchair Drinking again He is everything he wants He is fortune and fame He's a fortunate fool With an unfortunate fate With a 45 caliber Aimed at his brain 45 a fitting number Cause his age is the same Here's the words of his father It's such a damn shame Then he presses on the trigger of a money game So another one-shot take, uh, like many of Ren's videos, um, nine minutes and twenty nine minutes and nineteen seconds runtime. That is so impressive; it's ridiculous. Reminds me of that movie, nineteen seventeen, filmed in one shot, one take. Um, they had little workarounds, but general principle. Um, I wonder if he gains inspiration from like. Uh, uh, Shakespearean comedies and tragedies, you know. It seems like a lot of his videos have different acts to them. You know, Act 1, Act 2, Interlude, Act 3. Um, there seemed to be a bit of that in this, um, especially with that little interlude of him just talking, picking up the gun, and then going back age 45, and then pressing the trigger. But uh, Jimmy's ascent and descent, one man's life, uh, essentially a parasite his whole life, reaping the benefits of capitalism, playing into the hand that, you know, he was dealt and making the most of it. And um, that's what people are taught by and large is, uh, you know, the American dream. I am speaking, you know, about the U.S. because he did mention um, the states that are at the end. 
um, or uh, land of the free. So that was the the cue that I think he was talking about the states. But generally, I, I think the concept is true for a lot of the world. Um, you're taught to chase your animalist animalistic tendencies, and you know there is some herd mentality aspects that are important to getting what you need, but only like a small pack. You know, getting a red, uh, getting ahead and chasing the money to get ahead of the rest of humanity and um, get those material possessions. People are so fixated on that. Um, and they don't stop to look at, you know, their father or their mother who's raised them or their friends around them until they become, you know, old and um, ridden with health burdens. That was, that was incredible. That was incredible. Um, corporate greed on display. Um, one man's greed on display. Actually, it's probably a better way to put that. Thank you, Ren. Thank you, Ren. That was phenomenal. I'm always highly entertained by your videos, and I think entertained, I want to emphasize that it's it's entertainment that sticks with you, right? He, there's always a message, and he's very apt at finding the way to illustrate it in a way that sticks with you. Um, so go support him at his channel. I think that's really, really important. Uh, the Samuel Cinematographer Man Samuel Cinematographer Man. That's his name. <laughs> I don't know his last name. Um, maybe it says in the description. Please go support him because that's pretty incredible. And it looks like Sick Boy. The album's coming out um, soon. So go ahead and buy that uh, when it comes out. Um, why can't I find it? Yeah, Samuel Perry Falvey. Very talented lad. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to me before you leave. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Consider joining my Patreon. Uh, it's definitely how I support myself here and make content like this. If you want to see more Ren, please let me know. I'm happy to do more of it. I've been a bit busy these days uh, with the job, but um, I definitely am always keen to see more from this young man um, or anyone else you think. So let me know. I'll see you next time.